We've got a pretty good idea of what the Switch launch lineup will look like, but we also have some dreams, some hopes, and some wishes. So today at Switch Force HQ, we're talking all about our dream Nintendo Switch launch lineup. I'm Zach, and I've got Jake and Gabe with me. We all are pumped for the new 3D Mario. We all can't wait for the release date of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Even the Rayman Rabbids Mario RPG crossover sounds exciting, but what are our dream games? Which games can we concoct in hopes of of maybe willing them into reality. Today, that's what you're gonna find out. We each have three picks, and we're gonna go through them starting off now. Gabriel wait, and Jake. Wait, to be clear, I wanna, I wanna say one thing. We know that yes. these aren't happening. These games are yes. probably not even real. It's just far-fetched dreams. Well, I think it's a lot more than probably not real. I'm throwing <laughs> paper For airplanes. Sure not real. I'm throwing paper airplanes to Miyamoto's house with little messages mm -hmm. about right. these games. Yeah, wait, okay. We, we, we had this weird occurrence where we were texting about a new mystery show on Netflix or HBO, <laughs> and then they announced one. So yeah. we're powerful. Know what could happen. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. we're fully aware that 3D Mario will most likely be the tentpole title at launch, and then that'll be followed by Zelda Breath of the Wild, later on Pikmin 4, and early on uh, things like Skyrim Remastered and the Rabbids RPG crossover, uh, Just Dance, and probably a few surprises. But we really wanted to kind of... Uh, have fun dig yeah have fun and sort of dig into the minds uh of of each other and find out what we would love to see and we haven't revealed these to anyone in our group so it's like it's brand new for everybody i'll kick us off my first game and and for me it's the biggest dream uh is a wario and waluigi title uh that puts them at the forefront of their <laughs> own adventure now i don't want this to be a a linear Mario level structured game and I don't want it to be a uh, Mario and Luigi RPG style game I want it to be more of like an uncharted slash it's, it's, it's a mystery game it's a caper game where <laughs> Waluigi and Wario are on the hunt for something you're on such a they, mystery kick lately <laughs> they're on the hunt for something very very sinister that they're going to steal and so it's, it's a Mario game in the style of like there's platforming and boss fights but it also is kind of like Nintendo's first foray into a deep narrative uncharted style <laughs> cinematic experience <laughs> where you get to sometimes be Wario with with Waluigi following you, and sometimes be Waluigi. They have different skills, different moves, and uh, they you know really have to you know like I don't know if they're robbing Mario's house or if they're going to steal something from Bowser's castle. Maybe all of it. But I really you know my dream would be a game that's this epic story. But frankly, I would take any Wario and Waluigi <laughs> focused game, whether it was an RPG or a platformer. Why, when you have two brilliant men known as Wario and Waluigi, are you not using them for anything more than silliness in Smash Bros, Mario Kart, and Mario Tennis? Give us a game based on the Bad Brothers, please. All right, Jake, you can go because someone's at my door. Okay, um, I think that. For my first dream game, um, I'm just going to start off simple, okay? Nothing too crazy. Okay. But sure. I think um, given the way that the Switch has been presented and the local co-op or local multiplayer capabilities anywhere on the go, um, I think that a new Mario sports game would be amazing, um, whether it okay. be a Mario Strikers um, third game in that series because those are extremely fun or a basketball version of that or something. Not, I don't want a Mario Tennis but something that's team-based play um, that I can play with my friends or brothers or whatever um, competitively on the go um, from anywhere I think would be amazing and be something that would be a staple in my pocket always um, whenever I took my Switch in order to pull it out and um, play with friends. Um, so I think that just in the sense of the, the what the Switch is capable of and the form factor of it and how you can use it, um, it's not like the most creative game, but I definitely think it would be a great title to add to the, the Switch lineup. Mario Kart had, Rocket League. No, that's not what I'm looking for, Gabe. I said team <laughs> sport. If you had a pick, would you take like Mario Baseball, Mario Strikers Soccer, Mario Tennis? Rugby. What, I, no, what I think I think soccer or basketball, something that's like action pace where it's not slow like you know baseball or tennis is just a one on one. That but, that Mario three v three hoops game for for DS. Yeah, but just like a better version. So maybe Su disaster. maybe Super Mario Strikers is the best option. I just, love Strikers. Yeah, so yeah something that's, that's just fantastic. a competitive Mario team it's a good sports choice. game. Yeah, and I, frankly, of all these, that's probably the one that actually has a, a legitimate chance at happening. Well, uh, oh, um, <laughs> I think two of mine have a, like a legitimate chance of happening. No, Gabe, leave. Don't take Fire away my away, thunder. <laughs> all right, this first one, Bayonetta three. I want that to be a thing. 
Okay. Because I love the Bayonetta series, uh, and I, I didn't like that the second was like exclusive to like uh, Nintendo or whatever. But so now you want this to be exclusive to Nintendo? Yes. Well, now, yeah, because Switch <laughs> means I can take it with me anywhere, I, and then I never have to stop being a sexy witch. Okay. Ever. And that's that's all I want to be in life. But no, I, I, I do genuinely like the series a lot. The gameplay is phenomenal. Witch Time is a, a really cool mechanic that I think more games should use, but not call it Witch Time, obviously. Um, Zach, Switch how do you feel Time. About- yeah, switch time. Yes. Do you like Bayonetta, Zach? I really like Bayonetta one. Sadly, I never played two. Yeah, exactly. I don't. I, I I didn't play it. I really like the first one. Um, I think mechanically, that and you know, I know this is sort of blasphemous, but the 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 sort of DMC reboot. Those are two of my favorite character action games of the last however many years. I don't know how blasphemous that is, but yeah, uh, Platinum does like good stuff. Like yeah. and they they always have it and, and, and I think Nintendo if they can secure a few of those sort of oddball titles you know maybe that doesn't move the needle in terms of, of system sales but it does secure you know more and more of the hardcore and I think that would help in the long run to eventually attract uh, more tentpole and mainstream whether they be exclusives or just at least ports from the PS4 uh, and the Xbox One. Yeah, I, I, and I do think Bayonetta 3 eventually happens. Is it as, like, wacky as, like, you wanting to delve, like, deep into the psyche of what Wario is? <laughs> like, what motivates him to be how he is? No, it's not that wacky. Okay. <laughs> what if he had a Waluigi Bayonetta-style game where he uses <laughs> limber limbs, his long limbs, to take down all of the evil the, and mushroom The best plan. thing about this entire thing is that basically, Zach, you're Waluigi and Gabe is Wario, so I mean, yeah, you guys could, could like mocap for the game or something or create a trailer yeah. yourselves, like a fan trailer and submit it to Nintendo. Nintendo, let's make this happen, man. <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay, so my second pick um, is expanding into another uh, realm of Nintendo's uh, stable of characters. I would love to see a Donkey Kong style 3D game. Now, I don't want it to be a collectathon in the vein of DK64, which at the time was insanely intriguing and incredibly awesome, but in retrospect was literally a check the box fest full of frustration. Let it be known, uh, let the record show that the uh, my fellow Switch Force teammate here, Jake, accidentally deleted my save and crushed my progress in DK64. Uh, I got the lime green see-through DK64 N64 bundle for my 10th birthday. I played the game. I unlocked Lanky, Tiny, Chunky, Diddy, Donkey, the full ensemble, and then Jake accidentally deleted my save. But let's give Jake some credit. He was crying when I came home, and he told me that, so at least he felt bad. And we we worked our way back up. I mean, we played through it again, and we got close to where you were before. I I deeply apologize for ruining your game. I got (laughs) karma back in my face, though, when I was playing Kingdom Hearts, and my file got corrupted, and I quit playing then, so... It all came full circle. Everything works out. My second choice, then, is that DK3 game. And and I think something in the veins... It it doesn't have to be platformer-based, but I... Yeah, actually, it does. I'd love to see them (laughs) sort of... It has to! I'd love to see them recreate sort of the Donkey Kong Country vibe and charm, but in sort of a new Super Mario, Super Mario 3D World uh, redo. Now, I know that that exists in the form of Tropical Freeze and... uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, mm-hmm. yeah, something like that. But yeah. but I don't I don't want it to be strictly 2D. That's why I said 3D because I'd love to see them somehow explore uh, either more of a force perspective 3D kind of like Mario. Th- I, okay, I, let's just st- state it. Be blunt. I want Donkey Kong Country World. So gotcha. give me n- New Super Mario Bros. World or Super Mario 3D World, but in with DK and Dixie and Blanky okay, and probably beautiful. Chunky. All right, Jake, Jake. Give us your number two. My number two is a. Um, Open world Pokemon game. Now, on first thought, that sounds really weird, but I don't. I sounds want it like to be, the Pokemon game we already have. No, but I'm talking about. I want it to be where you are a Pokemon, and each level you start as a beginning of a three uh, stage evolution Pokemon. So you're like you start as a Charmander, or you start as like a, a Trico or something like that. And then throughout the level, you go through and you're fighting other Pokemon that are just like out in the wild. There's no tall grass that's like hiding them or other trainers. It's just like wild Pokemon. And then like at the end, you fight like a boss that's like a level three of some other grass type. And there were some or, or some a giant Charizard sitting on top of the mountain or something. And so you're using your Pokemon moves like in real time and to defeat the other Pokemon around you. And then you get to the boss and move on to the next level. And each level, you're in a different environment. And you have a you're a different Pokemon. Something that so it's like an action. Is it a beat em up then, to some extent, but but almost but not super beat em up. I guess it's not like not like okay. a the, like a like a, a bayonetta or something like that. But don't beat em up. Just hit him once or twice. 
Yeah, but but it doesn't mean like, there's not like enemy enemies everywhere, like like surrounding you and running at you. Like there's not like a rat. Well, I'm, I'm just thinking that you remember the mode in the the, mo the latest Smash Bros. Um, I, I specifically remember the handheld like uh, playing Smash Brothers on 3DS and like you're running through killing guys as you go through. I mean, is this is this 2D? Is this 3D? 3D. It's like it's like okay, a Mar almost like a Mario 64, but in that like okay. vein of like style, maybe more enemies and more like a mature audience type feel to it. Um, but definitely, yeah, definitely in 3D space going through like a, 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 a molten cave and there's like magmars and things almost like Pokemon snap, but like an action game out of that in a gotcha. way. Um, okay. and then like you collect like certain like berries or things throughout the level. And like, that's how you evolve to then like in from Squirtle to War Turtle. And like, it's not required, but like it makes you stronger and you get new moves each time you go up a level, something like that. So it puts you in okay. the actual like world of Pokemon, um, as a Pokemon. And not just like oh, pick your move and watch it happen. Okay, good, good stuff. See, see, we all went in like different directions. Cause my <laughs> games are real games, like that that will probably happen at some point. Uh, I was at my my other Ga Ga Gabe's dreams are very grounded. Yeah, very very grounded. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I mean, Gabe um, my, was talking about the, the finances of, of the, the Mario <laughs> World theme park. So I mean, he's very business minded. Sure. Um, I mean, my other one, we all know we're getting it at some point, but it's going to be like Metroid Prime 4 or something like that, or a reboot of Metroid Prime, or whatever they're going to do with the series next that isn't like a soccer game on 3DS. So, you know, there's not a whole lot to like really talk about with that game, because like I said, we all know that's happening. Maybe. On... Really? Do, <laughs> we, do we really think we... Do we I mean, really you know, think we, we know Retro's another... working on something. Do you think Retro is on the DK train, on the Metroid train, or on new IP train? I, I think Retro is done with D Well, I don't know about done with DK, like, forever, but I think they're done with DK for now. Like, they they, they had their foray into it, and it was like... I think DK makes the most logical sense, though, for a Switch title, don't you? No. What's wrong for with the Metroid Switch title? Nothing's wrong with it. I just mean in terms of what would fit for you know sort of that development given the fact that those games were you know at least the original was ported across the 3ds and and the wii u yeah. or the wii wii u yep wii u which yes. game Donkey Kong country returns yeah wii u um but like i said not a lot to say because it's, you know i don't agree with you this is happening eventually okay. Zachary. I, I mean i would love to well, i would love it to happen yeah, like I'm not I, against I you in any way. Yeah, I don't think we live in a universe where we don't get another Metroid Prime game. Or I mean, people, maybe they people don't. People have been saying that though for years. I remember Reggie wearing the Metroid pr pin, like the first Game Awards. So like two and a half, three, three. years ago now. Yeah, three yeah. years ago, and we and we Man, got you just uh, really like Samus. What what's it called? <laughs> Metroid the, the the 3DS title. The, yeah. Uh, the the bouncy something ball force game. something force yeah Federation force yeah no but it's not it's not like the Metroid franchise is dead like no. you know we, we we got other M and some people like that game a lot I you know other I don't I, know, I really people. like that game strangely uh, you can go play it on Wii U they released it uh, for eShop um, there you go but yeah there, there's no way Samus doesn't make a return go ahead Zach okay so for my third and final game this is where I I took things to the uh, the other plane of imagination and remember the good old days when nintendo and sega partnered with disney to release games like the lion king and aladdin <laughs> and the jungle book so i want to see a smash brothers style disney fighting game where it's like buzz lightyear versus scar <laughs> it's like stop laughing princess jasmine versus <laughs> hades where it's what? like Ursula versus Rapunzel, and I want it to be like a Smash Brothers fighting game. Now, you may say Disney doesn't do fighting, but at the same time, Nintendo doesn't really do fighting. And back in the day, Aladdin was slicing all the guards uh, in the market, and Simba was biting the necks of the hyenas. So why can't they do it and, and duke it out with each other? We've seen such huge success with Marvel vs. Capcom, with, uh, you know, Injustice. And so now I want a Disney game. But there's also, because it's exclusive to Switch, you have some Nintendo... Uh, you know, what do you call that? Um, cameos. So we've got Mario in there. We've got, you know, Cranky Kong in there. <laughs> kind of like got... how Yoda was in Soul Calibur. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so <laughs> it's this gorgeous fighting game that appeals to all audiences and has just a great slew of mini games. And just like imagine Woody taking out, taking his talents to, to duel against Bowser. What I, I can't even think of what moves Woody has. <laughs> Listen, Woody has you know. He turn you into a friend. No, he's got like a. He, 
listen, he's got like a jumping, he's got like a jumping like uh, spiral kick, kind of like Chun Li, but then he has those spikes on his boots that will like scar up Bowser's face. <laughs> mm. Wow, this is getting very graphic. He also has as if his, society his, like, isn't violent enough already. He also has his pull tab that he can like strangle people with, like a lasso. Oh, like, okay, oh my. all right. <laughs> so all right. I, I want Disney versus Nintendo coming to gotcha. Switch March seventeenth, twenty seventeen. All right, Jake, Disney. come on. Okay. It's a very tough decision for my third game. Um, I just had a, like a slew of games pop into my head. Like a new Monkey Ball, I think would be great. But I think what I would have to go with is a 3D space Yoshi's Island. Um, in the slew or slew in the the vein of a DK64, not collectathon based, but in the sense that Yoshi could go around and get. Um, different like power-ups per level like eat different berries that give him different abilities like either to go underwater or to breathe fire or to fly J- jake's very then, big on this eating things to power no, up. stop listen <laughs> oh my God. no and then like he could go and get like baby mario or baby luigi or baby bowser or baby dk or new guys on his back and that would give him different abilities as well um okay. and go through this sort of linear uh story-based type uh, adventure um, that's like a 3D platformer I think would be super epic um, and I mean yeah I, I don't know I, I just I want more of the, that those type of games as opposed to the, the 2D side-scrolling stuff that they have been doing for a while. Ukulele will in theory release on Switch so that'll be a, a great uh, replacement in case your dreams do not come true. Which they won't okay. but hey all right. Neither my my last one is the only one out of mind that like I can confidently say will never ever ever happen. And okay. um you guys have probably never even heard about this game, but I I I talked about this once on a podcast with you a very long time ago, Zachary. Oh God, there was I'm a game on brain. There was a game on Super Nintendo called Secret of Evermore. Uh, yes. where, you, where you were this child and you had a dog with you and you woke up and uh, you were like in this forest. It, it, it's a, it was an RPG, but it was like action-based. It wasn't turn-based at all. Uh, you, you found weapons and your dog could attack the enemies for you. And there was a ton of very cool stuff going on in this game. I, I, I played it uh, damn near religiously for, for, for months when I first got it. And I would love to see a sequel to that game because it kind of had an ending that like made me want to know more about what is happening you're you're you go through a lot of incarnations you like go through this like time machine thing and eventually your dog is not just a dog anymore it's like a robot dog and you're like in the far future so result. It's like chrono chrono trigger style time travel sort of but okay. like a little bit weirder because you go to like just you 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 went to like ancient ruins you also went to this like jungle land and like i mentioned also the future there's all types of stuff going on um, and I remember really liking the story. I don't remember the details of the story. So ideally, they would announce Secret of Evermore 2, and I yeah. would go back and play the original to get hyped up for this. And instead of a dog, this time we have a cat. Um, and Gabe's our, dream game. Yes. And basically you and a cat out there killing bad pirates. There was bad pirates in, in the game I remember you had to kill. Um, okay. Yeah, all types of cool stuff. But... I've always wondered what happened to that franchise. I don't know who owns the rights to it anymore. I, I, I it was a, it was a, a, it was a SquareSoft game, I believe. If I'm, rem- did you look it up at all? I can do that right now. Yeah, for I don't know who. Go ahead. I was just, for some reason, this reminds me of Elroy yep. goes Bugzerk. <laughs> oh, that a new Elroy on Switch is what we need. If you haven't but played Elroy, Freddy Fish. Yeah, it was released Switch. by SquareSoft. Yeah. Okay. So it was a SquareSoft game, and it doesn't. I, I the cover ex- is absolutely terrifying. The game is so good. Oh, Jake, I I'm gonna link you to the cover so you can see what kind of okay. hell Gabe wants to inflict upon us. I wonder how that reviewed. I don't. Maybe not. I didn't read reviews back then. So, um, did, did they have reviews? Yeah, they, they yeah, I'm sure they did. And this looks like what Attack on Titan stole from for their like posters. <laughs> <laughs> so no. I, I know Jake has a fourth secret game that he wants to get to, um, but I also want to just throw in there. This is a little bit more grounded, but if you could have one virtual console game. That has existed on launch day. What would it be? Okay, one virtual console. across any platform. So you you can go all the way back to NES up through Wii U. Secret of Evermore. <laughs> okay, Gabe, Gabe pick, pick Secret of Evermore. Mm, do you have one? That's a tough, tough one. Mm. Quickly, guys. Zach, do you have I one? Would say, I would say Mario Sunshine, but the fact that we're getting a new 3D Mario. I mean, Mario Sunshine is is rumored to actually be happening, but the fact that we're getting a 3D Mario is sort of throws that you know out for me honestly i think you know kind of referencing what you mentioned earlier jake super mario strikers uh 
I, I would be down with that. I think that would be an amazing game to take on the Diddy go. Kong Racing. That's what I would Jet Force Gemini. Go. How nope. about that? Nope. Diddy Kong a, Racing. A, a resurrection of DK Racing 2, Diddy Kong Racing 2, which was in the works for for quite a while and then somehow got <laughs> dropped and dumped. What if it Do, makes do you guys have no fond memories of Jet Force Gemini at all? I don't, I don't know, know what that is. It. Okay, look it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Get schooled. And but, like, I think Diddy Kong Racing honestly could be one of the legitimate surprises given the fact that, well, I guess it depends when the Mario Kart port releases. If that's a launch title, then no, but if that's something off in the distance or something they hold or something that isn't even really true, um, Diddy Kong Racing, I think, you know, does have a legitimate shot at, at being there the first year. Jake, what was your fourth game that you couldn't decide between? It wasn't really a four. It's not like a new game. It's just an addition to Pikmin 4. I don't know what the, the Switch has in terms of, like, GPS capabilities or whatnot. But I was just thinking, like, if it had something in the vein of, like, Pokemon Go where if you took your Switch out into different environments, you could collect different Pikmin or, like, have a concentration oh. more of, like, blue Pikmin by water or rock Pikmin by, like, you know, in the... In a forest or woods or whatever. Basically, Jake wants to build a slave army of Pikmin. No, but then, yeah. like, and it could either be, like, part of the real game or, like, a separate entity where, like, you build, like, your own, like, garden and then, like, other people attack sure. it or, like, it's, like, a defense sure. force type of thing. Um, but just something like that, like, would, f like, make people get out and use your, your Switch while you're on the go more, um, I think would be really cool and just, like, in different environments. Obviously, it doesn't have a camera or anything, but just, like, if it could recognize. It can, it can bring in some of the uh, the Game Boy Advance Boktai elements where you need the sun to fuel your, your Pikmin. So you right. throw them with actual sun. Yeah, there's something, the and I feel like that's something Miyamoto would definitely be all for, considering how much he loves being outside and gardening and having adventures outside. And fighting. I want to let you know that <laughs> the, the Disney game is not out of the realm of possibility, because remember what Miyamoto <laughs> told me when I I interviewed him he said that getting in some fights was a good thing yeah it is say with so disney he's, characters well you never know what that man could be concocting uh, as be, be, we speak. before we go I, I, there's one last game that i remember playing a lot that i'm wondering if you guys have heard of okay. I, was the game called mystic something and you were like this like purple suit girl Your purple suit but was it mystic knights is that a thing am i remembering mystic quest no 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 mystic quest was a thing that's not what i'm talking about uh, <laughs> yeah, it, this it, it had real. knights it had knights in the, in the name. Ghouls and ghosts. Uh, Gabe will be starting his own podcast where he <laughs> reminisces about things that he faintly remembers, like yeah. Mystic Knights, which is definitely not a game. <laughs> <laughs> purple suited knights. Uh, if, if you know the purple suited game that Gabe is dreaming of, and is it Barney Gabe? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I also suit, like. I'm thinking of suit and tie, which is not what it's no, uh, to think there, of. There's also this other game, right? It, it had yeah. like a, li a little fat Goku guy. Well, he wasn't fat. It was just Polygon. He 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 looked like Goku. He had the blue hair. He could like shrink and get big. Um, man, what there was Ant Man. No, yeah, this is a very popular game, and I know uh, Becca, my girlfriend, has played that I never played. I know what you're talking about. I just I can't place the title. Bonk. Um, there's not a whole there's not a whole lot of N64 titles, so you know. I'm going sure we can find these. Quest things. 64. Is that the RPG? Yes. Yeah, no, not that one. That, the, there's, okay. there's, that game is terrible, by the way. You okay. had to assign, like, your magic to each one of, like, the, the arrow directional things. Eh, that game wasn't good. The C pad. All right, well, Gabe... Uh, is, well, we can figure well, this out later. While Gabe thinks about things that he doesn't <laughs> quite remember, uh, yeah. let us know some of your dream games, and which of our dream games is your favorite. Is it the Disney Nintendo Fighter? Is it the Wario and Waluigi <laughs> Is it Secret of Evermore? Adventure? Is it Secret of Evermore? Is it Jake's <laughs> fantastic... Eat the berries series of games that where every game involves eating to get more powerful. Uh, Good thing I didn't mention a new Kirby game because then I would have been kicked off the That doesn't work in real life, even if Jake is making you think that you can eat things and yeah, well, you kind of grow stronger when you eat a little bit. Kind of worked for me. Anyhow, Zach is frozen at this point. I I don't know. All right, so we'll end the video here. Zach is frozen. I'll close this out. Thank you for being here, guys. Jake, I'm going to need a switch for it. Uh, see if any of them. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yes, Gabe? What? Do you not? All right, Zach, you're not aware so of this. You, <laughs> you were frozen for like the last 20 <laughs> seconds, so I started like doing an outro for us, and then you just kicked back in. <laughs> oh, okay. With a test. All right, get us out. Well, let me, let me finish that up. Uh, Go. Don't forget to hit the... Stop. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to let us know your thoughts on all these wacky games down below. Until the next time, for myself, Jake, and Gabe, that's going to do it. So Switch Force out.